Hello and welcome, this is Daisy. In today's video, I will be unboxing the Vivor Combo Heat Press Machine 8 in 1. I will show you what pieces come with it, how to assemble them, and how to use them. Let's start. This first piece over here is the digital temperature and time control. This is the power cord, a screwdriver, plain and Philip, and the four rubber feet for the big heat press. We will use this in a little bit. These two are mock presses. These ones are to press and customize conical mugs. This one is for small mugs up to 12 ounces and this other one is for bigger conical mugs up to 17 ounces. Two conical heat presses. This one is the first part for the cup or hat press. These two are the plate presses. This one is a five inches one and the other one is six inches. Two different sizes to press and customize plates. I am loving this combo. And this is the second part for the hat press. We have six pieces already unboxed. These two other pieces are cylindrical mug presses. They are the same height, but the blue one is to press up to 12 ounces mugs, and the white one is to press up to 17 ounces mugs. two cylindrical mug press sizes, and this one is the base for the mug presses. In a moment, I will show you how to assemble and replace all of these parts. Now I will unbox the last part that comes in the box. This one is the heaviest part. This is the Vibor Heat Press Machine for t-shirts or flat items. I like this heat press. This one is the Vibor Swim Away 12 by 15 heat press machine. 360 degrees rotation. All of this comes with this combo. A Swim Away 12 by 15 heat press machine two plate presses, five inches and six inches, two conical mug presses, one for up to 12 ounces mugs and the other one for up to 17 conical mugs or tumblers, two cylindrical mug presses, the blue one for a small mugs up to 12 ounces and the white one for up to 17 ounces mugs, the hat press, and this one is the mock press base. Now I will show you how to assemble and replace all of these parts to be used to customize different items. We're going to start assembling the heat press. Let's assemble the rubber feet to the main heat press for stability and to protect the surface.
Now it has good stability. My desk moves more than the heat press. Now I will assemble the digital time and temperature control. Let's plug the power cord. Next, we will connect the cable from the 12 by 15 heat press or the other presses. The t-shirt heat press is almost ready to be used. First, I will show you how to set the time and temperature. The temperature and time will depend on the material you are going to be pressing. In this case, I will set it up to 400 degrees for 40 seconds. This to sublimate a polyester tote bag. Turn it on, press on set, first I will set the temperature. The arrow pointing to the top is to increase the temperature and the arrow pointing to the bottom to lower the temperature. I will set it to 400 degrees. Press on set. Now let's set the time. It is on 24 but I will set it to 40 seconds. Then press set. Press set again. When it reaches the desired temperature, we can already start pressing the items. And here we can regulate the pressure. To the right, less pressure, and to the left, more pressure. When the machine has a lot of pressure, it becomes harder to close it. When it has less pressure, it feels easier to close it. This Vibor heat press comes with two thermic mats. The heat press is ready. I will test it by pressing a polyester tote bag. I will press it for 20 seconds to remove the wrinkles. Then I will clean the surface using a lint roller. I love this swim away heat press from Vibor. Like this, I can work on the material right on the top of the mats. I already have the printed design. If you would like to learn how to print sublimation designs, I invite you to look for my tutorial in my channel. Find the link in the video description down below. I will align and secure the design using heat resistant tape. If you like this design, you may download the free file from my blog, daisymultifacetica.com. Find the link in the video description down below. Place a large piece of butcher paper on top, press it and press on the arrow pointing to the bottom. And here is the first sublimated item using the Vibor Swim Away 12 by 15 heat press machine. Now that you already know how to assemble it, how to set the time, temperature and how to use it, we're going to move to the next step. We're going to assemble the mug presses. This is the bigger mug press. I will insert a mug to show you. This is for example only, since this one's been already sublimated. This one is a 15 ounces mug. 
Now, after assembling this piece, we will connect it to the heat press digital control. Make sure the machine is off when you're doing this process. Now set the temperature and time and ready to start pressing and customizing marks. Very easy. Do the same process to replace the other mug press sizes. Now let's move to the next step. We're going to assemble the plate press and then the hat press. To assemble these pieces, we will need to assemble the main top heat press. Use the screwdriver that comes in the box. Use the Phillips side. Now let's replace it for the plate press. ready to start pressing and customizing plates. Set the time and temperature, replace the mat, place the plate, press it and regulate the pressure. Very easy and you can start customizing plates. This one is the 6 inches. We can do the same with the one that measures 5 inches. Let's move to the next step. Let's assemble the hat press. For this, we will need to remove the bottom plate of the press. First, I will remove the plate press. Unscrew the bottom part of the heat press. You may remove the screws if you wish. I will leave them to make it easy to replace the heat press bottom part. The hot press needs to be inserted in this metal bar. Now let's assemble the second piece on top. Loosen the screws just a little. Regulate the pressure, plug it, and you may start pressing and customizing your cups or hats. I will show you with this one. This one is just for example, since this one's been customized already. 
The temperature and time will depend on the customization type and the material that you are pressing. I already showed you how to assemble all of these pieces. I think this is a great deal. You may customize a variety of items. I will remove it to replace the main heat press. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, review, and tutorial on how to assemble and use the Vibor 8-in-1 heat press combo machine. I will leave the link in the video description down below. My subscribers will get 10% special discount if you use my affiliate link. Please do not forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.